this was going to be easy. I mean I would rather have been doing something else right now. But I cannot go home because I really do not feel safe. Hey what is going on you guys my name is Sub-Zero Xtabyte and I am shooting right back at you with another video today. Now of course we all know that sometimes we get annoyed in this game right? I mean we all have our differences and usually they are only short lasting and they never really get that much out of hand right? Well today is the day that I snapped. I am just done with it right now. Again and again I keep having these noobs finding out where I live and it is just driving me nuts. Now I have already tried training the noobs in order to make them respect me and know a thing or two about the game. Now that did not work at all, because that literally just blew up in my face. But today we are not doing anything like that at all. As you can see I am in a little bit of a pickle right now. And yes this is pretty bad to be honest. There have been an unfortunate series of events that have happened lately that just revolved around me. And to get away from all of that I thought that I might as well just go ahead and run. Well as you can see that did not pan out too well for me. Now you might be like, well Sub-Zero X to bite you are just a little weenie when you are doing that. Well that might be so, but I am just not going to be taking any chances after what happened to me. And I am pretty sure that you all have seen what happened to me. I mean I will just put in on the beginning of this video for all of you who have not seen it yet. Just so that everyone can go around and see for themselves what horrors awaited me back home last night. But like I just said, usually I am pretty fearless. But after this happened last night, I literally have not closed an eye ever since all of that happened. So forgive me if I end up trailing off of my stories from time to time because I might be kind of sleepy still. And that pretty much would go to show if I end up crashing the game that I am supposed to be guiding along the map. So that kind of goes on into some traffic safety right here. So this is a quick PSA, which stands for a public service announcement. If you notice that you are sleepy or falling asleep while behind the wheel of a moving vehicle, then park your vehicle on the side of the road or in a parking lot or a gas station or anything of that kind so that you can make sure that you do not harm yourself or anyone else while participating in traffic now that might not be an effect for every single one of you because I could place a bit on the fact that most of you all are too young to be driving in the first place but this is just a quick PSA for you guys oh and by the way please do not do any of the stupid things that I might be doing in this car ride because even in Roblox things can get out of hand pretty fast so just make sure that whatever you are doing in real life or in Roblox that you do not end up harming other people nor yourself in the process of doing something now of course you guys are not here to listen to me rant on about traffic safety in Roblox and in real life so I would suggest that we would all just move on and start doing something that will actually make a change in this life and even though that might not specifically be doing a horror game but at least it is a good start but if I have got to be fairly honest right now I think that we are kind of getting the hang of this Roblox thing right here I mean we have done like a lot worse in the past with these kind of Roblox videos so I think that this is something that is going into the right direction for us as a team and by us as a team I mean you and I and by you and I of course I mean myself that is the I part and of course all of you guys in the audience not a physical audience but just everyone out there that watches my videos on a consistent and daily basis which I would call the die hard fan base of Sub-Zero X to bite or I would just call them the subs I mean come on that name is just the best thing ever to call my fan base aka okay, you guys I mean let me just recap this very quickly you have got me Sub-Zero X to bite and then you have got you guys the viewers aka the subscribers so i am sub and you guys are subscribers then we usually call subscribers differently because we are cool and all street and stuff and we just call you guys subs so i am sub you guys are subs that is just the best name for a fan base in like ever i mean there is nothing better than this i literally could not come up with something better than subs i mean if you guys have more ideas about stuff like that then feel free to leave your ideas in the comments because I do actually read the comments for you who might be asking themselves if I even read the comments yes people I do I know that it might not always look like it but I just cannot touch up on every comment that is being made on the channel or on the videos because there are just way too many of you now of course that is not really something that I should be nagging about 
because that is a good thing. I mean the more followers that we all have, the better that is right. So I am just going to be stopping with the complaining and I am just going to be enjoying all of the stuff that we together, as subs, can go do in life. I mean there are a lot of things that we could be able to accomplish, and we could be doing very big things. But right now, it is just time for nightmares or rather escaping them. Okay you guys. So by now you will probably be able to tell that we are playing a horror game. And you know usually I just play these so I can have a laugh about it, about how bad these proclaimed jump scares are and such. But to be honest this time it is kind of freaking me out. Like the game just reset itself because it felt like I was not playing it its way. And it being the game itself. Like that is the weirdest thing ever right? That is scarier than the red ring of death. And this room even kind of looks like a red ring of death. But this would be more like a red room of death. Maybe not red, but still. So where did the game bring us now? After what just happened in that forest it looked like the game was crashing. And I thought it actually did, but it looks like the game took a life of its own. And if that does not scare the living poop out of you then I do not know what will. Okay but talking about big things. Have you guys ever heard of a tale of a giant Steve? And I am talking about a giant Steve, and a viewer's discretion is advised because this story slash tale is pretty graphic and horrific. So this kind of correlates in with the happenings of this last night, which was just horrible from my perspective. But as you may have noticed that there are a lot of sightings of a giant Steve being done throughout the last couple of years. And you might be thinking that all of those things are just one big complete hoax. Well I can assure you that they are not. But for start Starters, I believe that most of you will be familiar with the happening and sightings of the so-called Herobrine in Minecraft. I mean that is just one nasty individual. And I can tell you honestly, that I would have never imagined that something like that could ever be real. But I got amazed and surprised and of course mortified whenever I saw that this was not just a fable or a tale. No this was the harsh reality of the Minecraft players. They had to deal with his shenanigans and no one would believe anyone. Which of course is just horrible, I mean the fact that this thing was just roaming around freely in all of the different Minecraft worlds and realms is just horrible. But this is not the worst part of the story, because this is only the first part of the story. You see how I made that rhyme there, I know that I am an amazing rapper it is pretty crazy. But as I was saying, no one would believe each other when they were talking about these crazy tales, because no one was actually able to get the Herobrine on camera or on video, whatever floats your boat. But all of that changed when one particular YouTube channel was able to catch this monster on camera. The channel is from some guy and he was the one that made the discovery in the first place. But wait a second, I was giving some background info on the Herobrine. So this YouTube channel was the first one out there to capture the horrific events of the Herobrine around a lake. And as suitable as it is. The name has now been called the Herobrin Lake and so is the series that unraveled the events of the Herobrin around that lake and it was a town that was built around that lake and it was just a horrible thing to see. It was very scary and if I were you I would not be watching it alone or at night because you will not close an eye after you have seen the events that happened at the Herobrine Lake. Now I mean that is what my nightmares consist of right now. I mean all of that is just straight up scary man. Now that was just one of the myths in Minecraft that turned out to be not so much of a myth because it turned out to actually be true and not just some tale that a drunk fisherman started telling. So kind of the same goes for the story that goes around the giant Steve. So we all know the story of Steve. Or actually, we do not know the story of Steve since he is such a mysterious character. I mean we all know Steve, but we still do not really know Steve. If that is something that you can follow. By this I mean that we have been playing as Steve for the better part of a decade. But we still do not know one thing about Steve, except for his looks. That is the only thing that that we know about him and that we are sure of but we do not know anything about his personality and I mean Steve doesn't have much of a personality nor real goal on its own it never talks all it really does is actions related to the player's choice he could be a nice generous man or a sadistic cruel mass homicidal maniac who has absolutely no morals he can vary so much that he fits in nearly every category because Steve can be an administrator he could be considered lawful good, that is because he enforces by the rules of Minecraft. Or if he is a troll, he could be the Joker. The possibilities are endless. I mean just think about this. How hard could it be for him to become a giant? I mean he is two blocks tall, usually. And that is something that I want to touch up on right now. Steve already has some kind of super strength. 
and by that I mean the following. Steve is capable of carrying over 400,000 tons of materials, and he is able to break solid wood trunks and rocks quite easily with his punches. And, if enough time is taken, even diamond and minecraft and obsidian can be broken by Steve's constant assault. He is even able to kill zombies and other beasts only with his hands. His super strength extends to his legs being able to jump one meter high with ease. Then after that he is a combat master. Steve has shown to have great combat proficiency, being able to deal with creatures much more powerful or bigger than him easily. He also shown being able to defend from arrows using a sword, and to shoot arrows very far. He is a master alchemist. Steve is very apt of crafting potions. He can craft healing, fire protecting, speeding and many other types of potions. And that is something that you do not learn in a day. But I am guessing that you guys are not that interested in hearing a story about Steve when we are playing this thing right here. I mean I get that, so I will just move on to something else. Like actually getting out of a nightmare in Roblox. I mean basically my nightmare has come to live right now. There is a song about that written by Avenged Sevenfold. It is actually called Nightmare, that is pretty funny and horrifying at the same time. But you know, that is just my opinion. But like I said, maybe I am just a weenie about all of this. It is just really weird to think about all of this. And I know that it is hard to be confronted with the facts like this. I mean I never claimed that this was going to be easy. I mean I would rather have been doing something else right now. But I cannot go home because I really do not feel safe there at all. So there is just no other place for me to go. And then when I decide to go do a game like this. I mean if the horrors back at home were not enough then this will definitely get you shook up like I got. I mean it feels kind of bad to kind of unveil all of these dark secrets about Steve after we have been with him, and actually have been him for all of this time. And then after all of this time we get to see his true colors. Well to me that is just hard. I mean I cannot speak for everyone of course. But to me this is just something that will haunt me for a long time to come. But hey at least we are almost out of this thing here right? And that is what today is all about. Oh did you see that right there? I have got no fear people. I will do anything to get what and where I want. I am a crazy rascal from time to time. By the way I think that you will be able to tell this right away. But I have no idea what I am even doing right here. I mean this is just something that I do because I like it. Or actually I do not, because it is a nightmare. I mean we have been here before a long time ago. This is actually getting kind of creepy to see right now. Or at least it feels like we have been here before. But then again I am not quite sure about that right now. Maybe that is just something that I dreamed. Or maybe it was another nightmare. Oh my god what if this is just a nightmare? Wait am I even able to record stuff in a nightmare? I am not sure about this to be honest. Let me tell you a bit about one of my big nightmares to ever have again. Do you guys remember one of the last elevator rides we had? Where I pressed a button that sent us off into outer space and stuff. And I was just all like... Let's just hope that no one actually saw the fact that I was the one to push the do not press button and that might have been a mistake on my end but I mean why would you put a button like that in this elevator? and then put me in said elevator and then put a sigh over it that says do not push. That is like the sole reason why I push the darn thing and that is because I am a little bit of a rebel so sometimes I just cannot contain myself and I just end up doing something really stupid that I should not have done. But like I said I remain to say that I am not the one at fault here since they just did not have to put a sign like that there with a button like that and there would have been no problems at all. I mean come on who comes up with something like that. There is just no way that I was any bit faulty or guilty in that offense. I mean I might have pushed the button back then. I have talked about this quite a lot I think actually. Actually something that really grinds my gears, and that is when people use analogies or something like that to their advantage and when I use them to my advantage they are mad or something. I mean come on that is not how that works. I mean I know that I just did the same thing but like I said, I am just trying to prove a point here. Maybe this is not really a nightmare or something that I am scared of, but I can assure you that I really do not like this at all. But maybe I am just whining too much now. So I am wondering what is coming up next. Wow I am actually hoping for something a little more scary. Oh wait never mind this is not anywhere near scary. I mean would you just look at this. But I really do not care about that right now. This card is my only way out right now and I am willing to die for it, metaphorically. I mean if I would die right now, then this would be the worst trade deal in the history of trade deals maybe ever. I mean, what oh god, 